In this video, I will show you how to secure your home Wi-Fi network router. I will be demonstrating each step on a D-Link and the Linksys simulator interfaces while narrating the D-Link only. Step 1. Update the router firmware regularly. If the option exists, schedule automatic updates. So I will be demonstrating on the D-Link side only. You can look at the Linksys side. Click Management, Upgrade and click check for new firmware. Step 2. Change the default router management password and enable HTTPS. Use a long complex password, 16 characters or more, that is different from the Wi-Fi password. Click Management, System Admin, and then under Admin Password, click in Password and put the long complex password. If you have the option to enable a CAPTCHA, do it, and then make sure HTTPS is enabled. And then click on Save. Step 3. Disable Remote Management. This will reduce the possibility of the router getting hacked through the Internet. Once again, I'll be demonstrating on the D-Link. Click on Management, System Admin. And then under Administration, Disable Enable Remote Management and click on Save. Step 4. Change the default IP and the default hostname of the router. Hackers will attempt to break into the router using these first. Click on Settings, click on Network. Under LAN IP Address, Change the default address, which is usually 192.168.0.1 to something else. As you see here, I'm putting 69.1. Change the management link address. Then click on Save. Step 5. Change the DNS address. ISP's DNS queries are vulnerable to data breaches because most of the time they are not encrypted. Use OpenDNS if you want additional website filtering. You can see my full video on this if you click in the upper right corner or use Cloudflare. I'm using Cloudflare in this video. Click on Settings, Internet, and then under my Internet Connection is click Advanced Settings, Primary DNS Server, put 1.1.1.1. These are the Cloudflare DNS Server addresses, then 1.001 in the Secondary DNS Server, and then click on Save. Step 6. Change the default SSID to Wi-Fi password and use WPA2 and disable WPS on your router. Use a long complex password that is different than the management password you used in Step 2. Click on Settings, Wireless, and then under Wi-Fi name SSID, change the default address. Careful when you change the default address here, if you have something configured already on this address, you should reconfigure it. And then put a strong password that is 16 characters or more, complex password consisting of numbers, letters, capital letters, and special characters. Then make sure that the security mode is WPA2 personal and go to Wi-Fi protected setup which is WPS and disable it. Then click on save. Step 7. Enable guest zone with internet access only. This way your guests will have access to the internet only and not your home network. Thus they cannot sniff the traffic going onto your home network. Click on Settings, Wireless, choose Guest Zone, make sure it is enabled on the 2.4 GHz and on the 5 GHz sections, and then put the Wi-Fi name SSID for both sections, 2.4 and 5. Put any SSID you like that is not a default SSID, and also a complex password that is different than your wireless password and then different than the management password. 
I'm putting anything here in the password. So make sure you have a complex password. Then make sure that internet access only is enabled. And then click on save. Step eight, enable firewall SPI. Stateful packet inspection, which is SPI firewall, protects you by examining incoming packets against existing connections. And anti-spoofing also enable it because it's a technique for identifying and dropping packets that have a false source address. Click on advanced, firewall, and then make sure enable SPI is enabled and enable anti-spoof checking is enabled, then click on save. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching.